I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, September 2014. Canadian employment is getting uglier. The latest employment figures from Statistics Canada show a decline of about 112,000 jobs in the private sector in August, resulting in an overall drop in employment of 11,000. Only last month, the agency botched the July jobs report, erroneously claiming the economy added just 200 new jobs, when, in fact, the figure was 42,000. Scotiabank economist Derek Holt was quick to warn the report looks very fishy to me. We'll know soon enough if another mistake was been made, but even if the employment report for August doesn't fit with what economists were expecting, it's hardly out of line with what the Canadian economy has experienced in recent months. There have not been two consecutive months of net new job growth since October 2013, and the new jobs figures for July are just part of a slowing trend that's been underway since January 2013. On an annual basis, job growth is probing depths not seen outside of a recession since the federal government took its deficit-fighting axing to the public service in the mid-1990s or since the 2001 U.S. recession and 9-11 brought economic activity nearly to a halt. A few other major highlights from the August job numbers. The unemployment rate stayed even at 7%. Since September 2013, full-time employment has grown just 0.03% or the equivalent of 4,200 net new positions. Despite the decline in the numbers of jobs, wages posted a 2.5% gain from the year before, so it's not entirely bad news. My commentary. The economy continues to show evidence of inconsistency in job creation. But despite the stubbornly high countrywide unemployment rate, shortages continue to amplify in certain industries such as the skilled trades, especially in Western Canada. Source, McLean's.